Hello everyone, hello, this is your very own buddy Black reporting in here, gonna play some Psychonauts as you can see on the screen. And I haven't played this game in ages, and the last time I played it was on my PS2, probably like five years ago. So, the controllers are obviously a lot different, they're not as smooth and stellar, and the camera's a little bit limited too, but then again I am stepping on a giant brain, so not a lot of things make sense. And I did try to play this game earlier, but like, graphic settings and lag made it very difficult and I was already planning to record this game for like the longest of times because like I said it's one of my personal favorites did I already say that either way it's one of my personal favorites and I really love it and I'm so glad that Psychonauts 2 you know is possibly being a thing and I'm still quietly frothing at the mouth about it but I'm gonna I'm gonna start a new game so you get to watch this uh, neat intro the human mind 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho knot, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. 
I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Oh, sorry, I was in the middle of eating a Starburst there, and playing some Neko Atsumi. Oh my god. Freaking. Oh my god. There's so many cats in my yard. Pickles? What the frick? Oh, I'm sorry. So, I already... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I started- I tried to play this uh, Steam version earlier, you know, on my PC and stuff. And it's right here, above Dogen, because Dogen's a... Uh, you know... Actually, I think I can override it. Yes, I can override it. Okay. Uh. Um. I'll just go with my default. Yeah. If it, if I just keep writing, then it, it looks like he's. <laughs> it looks like he's writing it himself. All right. Well, type your nickname only letters and numbers allowed. Uh, I'll just stick with buddy. Saving preferences. Nice. I'm gonna start a new day after a nice nights of sleep. All right, oh. settle down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out. Nice. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Oh, I remember you. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Oh, was... Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Oh, dang. Huh. Now look up for me if you will. Oh, oh these are inverted. Up, up there. Um. Uh. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. 
If you find enough of these shy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a shy core at the camp store to hold them together. Darn. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Nice. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. Wow, yeah. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? Hmm. That guy looks so familiar. To change your camera preferences, press escape to open your journal. And when options, oh, and select options from the first page. For some reason I misread that as when, don't know how. Okay, so we're loading, it's daytime, and I have to head to basic braining, I guess. Neato. Hey Raz, hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Called it. Basic braining is the best class ever! What? Okay, I'm gonna interrupt this here to adjust my, um, my, uh, video stuff. Camera, right? Is that what it said? Invert camera horizontally. I didn't find much problem there. Invert it vertically? Altitude dampening? What does that even mean? Show goal pop-ups? Okay. Uh, back... Uh, uh, continue. Oh, that is a lot better. Okay, nice. You gotta complete Coach Oleander's obstacle course. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. Ooh, the controlling girlfriend trope. Ooh, that is so nice. That is so healthy. Hey, bird. Okay, what does right click do? Okay, that's jump. Oh, that's basic uh, psychic attack. It's just punching and stuff. Ooh, F to pull up these uh, rare, not raritiniums. Raritiniums are actually kind of freak. Arrowheads. They're charged with psychic powers and stuff, and you can use them as a currency. Hey. I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring here and then call it an episode. Because this is a fantastic game, but there is so much to explore. It's really cool all in itself, you know, like its own little world. But you can easily just go through this game, like, no problem. How do I open this again? Uh. Uh, how do I interact? Oh, okay, there we go. I just had to press F. Ugh. Can I close it? There we go. Nice. Whatever needs to be contained shall remain contained. Oh, hey, Dogen. How you doing, man? Hang with the squirrels. I'm telling you for the last time, no. Oh. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Whoa, that's heavy, man. Oh. Hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars as all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. You know, I think that's pretty incredible that Dogen has the ability to shut understand up. the frequency of these squirrels. Although, the things I that these squirrels not. are saying are pretty cryptic, as you can see. I wouldn't! He is very upset about these tournaments. I'm not gonna do that! Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh. <laughs> Everything's normal. Everything's fine. Eh, seems legit. Just walk away. Oh. Frick. Like, I do kind of remember some things that happened here, but I don't necessarily remember, like, all the details. Holy frick. That was pretty intense. That's pretty intense. Alright, so I'm not- I'm probably not gonna, like, take a completionist sort of approach to this. Because I didn't take it when I played on the PS2, which has slightly easier controls. You know, the setup I mean compared to this, but eh. Hey, dude. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Okay, sheesh. Got it, bucko. 
And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because Stupid that's lame, what I was people. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, I baby. Am definitely and I going to you need find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. Okay, looks like everyone's having their own personal problems, but... Wow. It's really been a long time since I last played this game, but it's so weird without a controller in my hand. I could always get, like, a Steam controller, but meh. Nah. Is that me, Kyle? You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see any. Cannot lurk forever, bear. You're okay there, dude? Your voice kind of clipped out for like two seconds. Not clipped out, but it kind of clipped. And that was very weird. I guess you're really onto this bear. Well, we're not going to meet the bear here, but we'll meet him later on, you know? Because what kind of story would mention a character and wouldn't introduce it later on, am I right? Alright. Like I said, I'm just going to explore the general area and then, you know, call it an episode. And then next episode, I'll pick up on basic braining, and it's going to be fan flipping tastic. Uh, basic braining brings back so many memories. Oh, hey, dude! The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get it! Ooh, your voice clipped twice too. That means you're serious. Mikhail, whatever you're doing, you're spreading it. Is that even your name? I know you're Russian. And you like Russian bears. And I respect that. Oh man, I wish I had that one ability that I'm not gonna mention because it's spoiler. Oh hey, never mind, I can double jump. I forgot. What kind of a game is a game Calling like any jumping? sentient being in the galaxy Polarisma Australis? Nice. Ooh. Can't climb up there, I think. You should be able to balance on tight ropes like this. Nice. I was gonna make a comment, but it's actually kind of spoilery to how, um, like, the reason why Raz can do these things. Oh man, I'm so rusty and my fingers feel so, like, clumsy. It's gonna take a while. Oh, I didn't want to do this! Frick. Oh well, looks like I'm doing this. And this reminds me a lot of the first Ratchet and Clank. Ooh, what is this? Can I open you? Oh. Frozen solid. Looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Neato. Alright, I'm a going. I'm a going. Still a going. Okay, I'm aiming for the opening on the right. Frick. Ha! Gotcha! See, this is why I honestly prefer a controller above anything else. Yes! Uh, just buy a side core at the camp store and use agent crawlers, special lab equipment to put the- Whoa, man, that's kind of spoiler there. After class, of course. Psh, who would skip out on class? Psh, not me. Definitely not me. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I can throw that. Neato. Man, I'm just remembering all kinds of things. Goodness gracious. But enough of me, you know, just crawling around the gross parts of this camp because there's a lot of gross stuff in this camp that's even grosser. And you can only go through so much char like character development. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna episode. I'm gonna end the episode here, and I hope you have a good day. If it isn't a good day, treat yourself to a little something. And to meet again next time, I really hope you do. Bye.